Yo hey guys, welcome back to another video on Michigan Sports Talk, and in this one we got a Michigan basketball recruiting update video for you guys. We got a lot of news to talk about and a lot to catch up on as I haven't made a basketball recruiting video in a while. Can be talk talking about tons of prospects, including one crystal ball prediction coming two days ago. So with that being said, if you guys are new around here, make sure you guys go ahead. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video if you do go ahead to enjoy. And other than that, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. Alright, so we might as well go ahead and start with Papa Conte. Um, those, for those of you who uh, don't know, Michigan has been targeting Papa Conte for a long time now, Juwan Howard has been recruiting him hard and uh, Michigan is in his top five. He's a four star in 24 seven sports, uh, 2023 and I plays as a center. He is 6'10", 215 pounds, very tall dude and ranked 91st nationally on 24 seven sports in Michigan. Got a crystal ball prediction to land him just two days ago on October 4th which was Tuesday. His top five consists of Maryland, Memphis, Michigan, Pittsburgh, and Rutgers. And he took Ju June official visits to Rutgers, Maryland, Pittsburgh, and Michigan. Now on, on three, they put uh, Michigan at number one in their uh, rankings for contenders to land Papa Conte. Now Conte averaged 10.1 points, 8.3 rebounds, and 1.5 blocks while shooting 48.6% from the field this summer on Nike's EYBL circuit uh, with the New York Rens. Now, a couple months ago, or about a month ago, Papa Conte seemed like he was ready to commit, and you know, all signs are pointing towards Michigan. However, that obviously has delayed, and he never did commit. So, Michigan still in the lead. They do have a crystal ball prediction, so hopefully we land him. It would be huge. Right now, Michigan has no 2023 commits in the 2023 class, but we do have tons of prospects, and uh, we're going to continue with that and talk about Isaiah Collier. Talked about him before in a couple other videos, but he is a five-star in 24-7 sports, and on the 24-7 sports rankings, he is ranked first nationally. He is a 2023 point guard, 6'3", 190 pounds. Collier has a final, uh, or top four of US USC, Cincinnati, Michigan, and UCLA, and he's visited all four of them. You now, Collier does like the style uh, that Michigan plays, the pro style, and he likes uh, that Howard has NBA ties. Uh, going back to 24-7 Sports, Michigan uh, on the scouting look says it's they're warm. And I also visited on Thursday, July 28th, along with four-star power forward in 2023 class, Zayden High, uh, who Michigan is also targeting. Um, his recruitment has kind of died down a little bit for Michigan to land him, but uh, Michigan's still considering him. When asked, Aiden High said, I will look closely at the player development. I want a coach to get on me if I'm doing something wrong or praise me if I do something right. And I said this summer, it is always good to have a coach you trust and know has your back. Now on the recruiting prediction machine, Michigan leads 31% on it. Not good percentage. North Carolina, Villanova, Texas are all on uh, the top four on the recruiting prediction machine. And uh, on 24-7 sports, he's ranked as a four-star, ranked 55th nationally. Ranked 48th nationally in 24-7 sports composite rankings. He is 6'9", 225 pounds. And uh, Michigan is still close in his uh, recruitment. Another guy to look for in the 2023 class is four-star point guard El Marco Jackson. Uh, he is ranked 18th nationally in 24-7 sports. 6'3", 185 pounds. Now he is actually a teammate of Papa Conte's at South Kent High School. On 24-7 sports though, it lists that his recruitment uh, status has gone to cool for Michigan. However, if we do get Papa Conte, that could uh, play a role in his recruitment. We will see though. Before we do go ahead and continue, we got a couple more targets to talk about. If you guys are new around here, make sure you guys go ahead, hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 2,000 subscribers, so I greatly appreciate it. And if you are enjoying the video, make sure you guys go ahead, leave a like. Uh, that's the best way to support this channel. And moving on, go ahead and talk another huge recruit, this time in the 2024 class. 
five star center John Bull in the 2024 class. He is ranked 20th nationally on 24 7 sports rankings. 7 1, 190 pounds. He is very, very tall and a very good center. Now, he visited Michigan for the Hawaii game, so he has gone on uh campus already now he did say it's actually fun with juan howard him playing in the league and being a big man too it's just a good fit for me that's what he said on three in the wolverine and i just went on to say how he communicates with him and how he talks to him he said sometimes he will be asking me about school and uh, and about other stuff and building a relationship he's a very good coach Another guy in the 2024 class is four-star point guard Travis Perry. Uh, he's ranked as a four-star on 24-7 sports and ranked 85th nationally, 6'2", 170 pounds. He does have two crystal ball predictions going in Kentucky's favor. He actually visited Michigan Friday, September 16th. Now, he is from Kentucky, uh, so that is probably why he does have crystal ball prediction going in Kentucky's favor. Over, he averaged 27.5 points per game last season. Very impressive. However, he did say Kentucky would be tough to beat out uh, just because that is his home state and he actually never expected to even get an offer from his home state so uh looks like maybe going to kentucky but michigan is in the conversation then the next guy we'll go ahead and talk about is 2023 four-star shooting guard george washington the third that's right not the president but uh but yeah he's from dayton ohio a shooting guard 6'2 165 pounds and ranked 106th nationally in 24 7 sports rankings on 24 7 sports composite rankings he's ranked 76th nationally now he is actually uh supposed to visit michigan saturday october 8th which is this weekend at least that's what it says on 24 7 sports so it'll be cool to get him on camp now washington the third uh it was a former ohio state commit um but this is what he said about juan howard he said playing for coach juan howard would be big time that's another pro coaching staff and i said they get it done play style wise i feel like it fits me too that's what he said to on three and the wolverine according to on three washington averaged nine points per game uh 0.8 rebounds that was just through six peach jam games while shooting 34 percent from the field and 27.8 percent from three Next guy we'll talk about is the 2024 four-star guard, Jaden Mustaf, uh, 6'5", 205 pounds, ranked 35th nationally on 24-7 sports. Now, recently, Michigan went out to uh, see him and, and visit him and scout him. Uh, however, Michigan is really not in his recruitment at all right now from what I can tell. Um, but you never know, maybe Michigan will get in his recruitment. But right now, nothing really on him for Michigan. But they did go out and scout him on September or uh, in September. And uh, other than that, that's pretty much everything I wanted to touch up and talk about. Uh, another couple other key guys to look for. Um, just looking on 24-7 sports. The four-star power forward, Eric Daly. Um, he is warm for Michigan's uh, status to get him. Then five-star center, Aaron Bradshaw. He would be very tough to get though. Um, and then also I've heard talk about three-star power forward Bay and Doggo. Then obviously Bronny James as well, but uh, he seems like a long shot. So uh, Michigan right now, like I said, they have zero commitments in the class of 2023. You know, some key targets uh, to get probably be the five-star point guard Isaiah Collier, four-star point guard El Marco Jackson, four-star power forward Zayden High. Um, and obviously the four-star center Papa Conte and four-star shooting guard George Washington the third So, uh, you know, Juwan Howard will definitely get some very talented commits in the 2023 class not to worry at all But uh, that's the latest news and updates around Michigan basketball recruiting. We covered a lot um, So if you guys have any questions or anything to say make sure you guys leave them down below in the comment section But other than that hope you guys did enjoy if it did make sure you guys go ahead leave a like and subscribe for more and i hope you all have a great rest of your day we'll see you guys in the next video go blue